Hi, my name is Jordan Vidal. I'm with TNT Max, and today I'm going to be showing you how to configure an email account in Outlook 2010 in Windows 7 using a POP3 server type. So the first thing you're going to want to do to configure this account is go down to the Start menu, click on it, and then locate the Control Panel and click on that. This is going to be the original view, and you're going to want to change it from Category to Small Icons. Click on the mail icon in the control panel, and then when this box pops up, you're going to want to hit add. You can type in whatever profile name you want. It doesn't matter. You're going to want to check this little circle right here, manually configure server settings, and then hit next. Make sure internet email is checked right here. Hit next. You're going to want to put in your name for the tutorial purpose. I'm just going to put in test. Then put in your email address. Then for the incoming mail server, it's going to be maxmail.tntmax.com. You can copy and paste that into the next one because it is the same for the outgoing mail server. Your username is going to be your full email address. Then put in your password. Make sure you have check remember password checked if you would like it to remember your password, otherwise it will ask you for it every time. And click on more settings. You're going to want to put this into these two boxes right here. You can just copy and paste that. Control C for copy and Control V for paste. And in the outgoing server tab, you're going to want to select my outgoing server requires authentication. And then just click on the connection tab. You don't have to change anything in here. Just make sure the connect using my local area network little circle is checked. And then on the advanced tab, you're going to want to check this server requires an encrypted connection under the incoming server box. And then under the outgoing server, you're going to change it from port 25 to port 8025. This is because most internet service providers block port 25, so you have to use their email service. Um, you're going to want to make sure to leave a copy of messages on the server is checked. Remove from the server after we suggest 90 days. And then also check remove from server when deleted from the deleted items. Then hit OK. And right now the box test account settings by clicking the next button is checked. So when you click the next button, it's going to test the account settings to make sure that this account is valid. <laughs> You just have to wait for it to say completed. Now that it is all completed, hit close and then hit finish. And there's your POP3 profile. You're not all done setting up your account, and when you open up Outlook, all your emails will start coming in. This has been a tutorial with TNT Max. Thank you for using our services. Hope this worked for you. Have a nice day.